So you're thinking about moving to Brazelton, Georgia. Well, in this video, I am going to be talking about everything you need to know about living in Brazelton, Georgia, including shopping, amenities, hospitals, even a professional racetrack. And another fun fact about Brazelton is that it's voted the number one best place to live in Jackson County by niche.com. So pretty cool stuff. Hope you enjoy the video and let's jump right into it. My name is Tim Gibson and I'm a residential realtor in North Georgia. My channel is all about living in North Georgia. Of course, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel to keep up to date on all the great things about living in North Georgia. And if you're thinking about moving to North Georgia, I'd be more than happy to help you find a great place to live in the area. All right, let's jump into some of the basics about Brazelton, Georgia. First of all, where in the world is Brazelton, Georgia? I'm glad you asked. It is under an hour from Atlanta. It's on the northeast side of the Atlanta area. Basically, you take 85 North straight out of Atlanta and you will hit Brazelton eventually in just under an hour. Brazelton is also about 45 minutes west, northwest of Athens, Georgia, home of the Georgia Bulldogs. So if you are looking to live close to Athens, you want to get to some of those UGA football games, then Brazelton might be a good spot for you. Brazelton is close to Gainesville and Beaufort, Georgia, both larger cities that are close by. Interestingly, Brazelton is split between four different counties, Gwinnett County, Jackson County, Barrow County, and Hall County. Based on the 2020 census, the population for Brazelton was somewhere around 13 and a half thousand and the population in 2010 was only about seven and a half thousand so you're looking at almost double the population in 10 years all that to say Brazelton is a growing area and kind of exploding and it's a really really great place to live okay let's talk about some of the amenities that Brazelton has to offer first of all and the amenities and services available to you in Brazelton I wanted to mention Northeast Georgia Medical Center it's a branch of the main Northeast Georgia Medical Center which is located in Gainesville, Georgia. So you know living in Brazelton, you're close to important services like having a hospital close by. And as you can see on the map on the screen here, you have a good variety of grocery stores close by so you're not having to drive 30, 45 minutes to find a grocery store. Because who wants to drive a long way to go get groceries? I'll tell you who, nobody. And if you want local produce and great stuff provided by local farmers, there is a farmer's market in Brazelton. They have weekly and monthly farmer's markets, so if that's your thing, definitely check those out. Brazelton has a really cool downtown area, and they've got a little section called the Town Green, which hosts events and concerts and things like that. And one thing I wanted to mention about downtown Brazelton specifically is the open container district. And they actually have a map of the area that you can walk. And this is very rare for North Georgia specifically. So it's pretty cool that they have this. And then there are a few restaurants or pubs or, you know, tap rooms that you can grab a beer. And you can actually walk around this little area in downtown Brazelton, open container, kind of a cool thing to check out. Let's talk about some things to do in Brazelton. Number one on the list, if you are looking on Google or you're anywhere near Brazelton, you're gonna hear about Chateau Alon. Chateau Alon is a massive spa, resort, winery. They've got golf there. They've got something for everybody. Really beautiful place, beautiful grounds, great accommodations. I actually sent my wife and her good friend there to the spa for a weekend for Mother's Day. And they loved the spa, they loved everything to do with it. So if you're gonna move to the area and you love a good spa, a good massage, then check this place out. Chateau Alon has a great golf course. They host weddings. They host all kinds of cool events. They have their own wine. I mean, this place is amazing. So some of these events that I mentioned just a second ago, they have a culinary center with cooking classes. They have a mixology class with their bartenders so you can learn how to make those really cool craft cocktails. And they even have a cigar club. So if you're looking for a really interesting place to kind of do a lot of cool stuff, Chateau Lawn has something for everyone. So if you want to go out for the weekend, or you want to just get away or get to the spa, then check Chateau Alon out for sure. All right, for you racing fans, there's also another really interesting place in Brazelton. It's called Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta. 
I've actually been to Michelin Raceway quite a few times. My dad and my brothers and I used to go to the American Superbike races there. And if you've never seen any kind of racing, professional racing live, you should definitely check it out. The sounds are insane. The excitement's crazy. The smell of the race fuel, like the entire experience is just, just mind blowing. Seeing these guys ride by on motorcycles around 200 miles an hour is just insane. Another cool thing that Michelin Raceway offers is track days. So there's all kinds of clubs that you can go to that sponsor track days and you can get on the racetrack, take your personal car out on road Atlanta and race around the track. So if that's something that you've ever wanted to do, check it out. I'll leave a link in the comments to some of the clubs that offer track days at Road Atlanta, if that's something you're interested in. A couple of the events I wanted to mention that happened at Road Atlanta. Number one is the Moto Superbike Race. It's a superbike series that I mentioned earlier. Really cool event. We went multiple years in a row and the motorcycles are really fun to watch. Also, the main event I would say for the year is called the Petit Le Mans. It's a 24 hour racing event with professional drivers and it's an incredible event that happens every year at Road Atlanta. And the complete opposite of the Petit Le Mans is this funny event that they do every year. It's called the 24 Hours of Lemons. And yes, lemons means really, really bad cars. They take crappy cars and they race them for 24 hours in an endurance race as kind of a joke, but it's actually a really fun event and something that'd be worth checking out for sure. I may go this year just to see what it's like. And another interesting event, if you're a runner or an endurance athlete, or you like to run 5Ks, there's an event called Clash Endurance Atlanta. It's like a weekend of endurance events and they're all centered around the Michelin Raceway at Road Atlanta. So they have a 5K and a half marathon. And the 5K is actually one lap around Road Atlanta. I actually did the 5K one time around Road Atlanta and it's a very hilly track and it was a lot harder than I was expecting. But if you wanna check that out, it's a really cool thing. The half marathon is one lap around Road Atlanta and then you get to go out onto like a cross country track to finish out the rest of your half marathon. Pretty unique 5K and half marathon event. So if that's your thing, definitely check that out. For all you golfers out there, check out some of the golf courses close to Brazelton. Chateau Alon, like I mentioned, has a golf course. There's a golf course called Legends. And not far away, there's a couple of other good courses. Traditions Golf and Country Club, Hamilton Mill Golf Club, and Royal Lakes. You'll have no shortage of places to go uh, swing the sticks out there on the golf course when you live in Brazelton. Really quickly, I wanted to mention the schools in Brazelton. Like I've mentioned in some of my other videos, COM is a great place to find unbiased information on the schools in the area and niche.com actually gives Brazelton an A grade for schools so that's a good thing for you that needs some info on schools of course go to niche.com on your own and do your own research but according to the site it looks like you got some good options there and of course my favorite subject is real estate I'll give you some of my favorite real estate stats that I mentioned in a lot of my other videos first is average sales price as you can see from the chart here the average sales price has crept up steadily from 2019 until 2022 which is when I'm shooting this video but as you look towards the end of this chart you can see that it kind of drops off pretty steeply which is good if you're thinking about buying in the area towards the end of August the average sales price was in the 600s but it dropped pretty drastically down to about 450,000 in September so that's a trend in the right direction if you're thinking about buying in the area. I wanted to mention sales to list price ratio. Not to get too math nerdy on you, but it's pretty basic. The sales to list price ratio, it shows how closely houses are selling as compared to the initial list price. So if you're looking at somewhere close to 100%, that means the market's pretty competitive and you can expect to pay about what the house is listed for. And of course, if it's you know lower, then you can expect to pay less or higher, of course, you'll pay more. And Brazelton is showing a 99.4% sales to list price ratio. So naturally you can expect to pay very close to what a house is listed for, at least in September of 2022. Days on market in this chart right here also just kind of shows you how quickly houses are selling in the area. In Brazelton, the median days on market is 11. So houses are sitting on market for less than two weeks, which shows that houses are going still pretty quickly. Because if you look back in 2019 on this chart, houses were sitting on the market for somewhere around 40 days. 
keep that in mind if you're thinking about moving to Brazelton and you find a house that you love, you may want to jump on it pretty quick. So if you're thinking about moving to Brazelton, Georgia, of course, give me a call, send me an email, send me a text. I'd be happy to help you out. And that's my guide to living in Brazelton, Georgia. What do you think about the video? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if there's anything that I didn't mention that you'd like me to cover about Brazelton, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer that for you. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.